Hi, this is Clay and Ruthie from Popel's Backyard Farm. Another uh, small video on our chickens. We just gave them some leftover spaghetti and some soup that we made a couple of days ago. And before it went bad, we figured we'd give it to the girls. Our girls are doing really well. We have six of them. And we got rid of the rooster because you don't need a rooster to lay eggs. And uh, this morning we've got three eggs. Here's the egg basket. All right. Two of our uh, two of our production reds laid, and one of our. Uh... Oop! Almost broke that egg. And one of our white hens laid. Which... There's a mess. <laughs> uh, oh, show Groucho. We're doing our doing our chores, making sure everybody's got plenty of food and water. That's our our buck Groucho. We've been talking about for. He moved, he moved in the chicken, Byron. Yeah. Now, what, uh, Clay, tell about chickens laying egg in, eggs in the winter. Well, if you keep them with plenty of light, we have a light on all the time. You Do don't they need, need heat? You don't need a heater, no. That's an old wives' tale. Chickens' body temperatures are 101 to 102. And as long as they keep their feet warm, which if they, they get on a roost and they can tuck their legs up under their bellies at night, they keep their feet nice and warm. They will do fine. You can see these girls are very active. It's it's a uh, week before Thanksgiving, and we've got snow already. And they're running in and out just like if it was summer. They're enjoying their their time, and we've got some hanging feeders. We're actually feeding them all. They get gotta give them some corn, and there, there's no corn in their thing right now. I that man. They always, always keep food from them. They're healthier if you keep food in front of them all the time. Then if you try to only give them morning feeds. And they have a little bit of corn, but they don't. They always have something in front of them. Oh, look at Groucho. Hello. How's Mama's boy? Right and now we got to feed the girls on the other side. We're going to go feed the rabbits. That was our dirty pan from giving them food. Okay, and we got all these rabbit pellets we got to distribute. Oh, we got a bunny out. So uh oh, yeah, that's me. I left the door open. I opened the door, all walking right, through the. That. that was his crew. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? You broke your feet or I'll have to fix that. You got that door almost open, too. I got to fix that today, too. The outside door. Come on, girls, get out of the way. So the bunnies are all happy hopping bunnies. We're getting ready to harvest these guys. This week. Here. So they got their pellets. How'd you guys knock that down already? Put that up so you wouldn't be chewing any wires or anything. Come on, everybody. It's feeding time. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> How many bunnies do we have right now? Oh, I'm not sure. I had a Ooh, they knocked their wire down. They knocked the wire down. It's covering this plug in. I don't think they really need it on there because they don't seem to be chewing anything. So they're happy. Clay has these little nest things that they like to go into. Hello, there's Chin Chin. Believe it or not, we know who you guys all are. There's Chin. She's the mama of okay. them. I gotta dump this and. You give them little treats and snacks and feed, yeah. and they get uh, they get, their pellets. they get lots of pellets, and they get to eat pumpkins and vegetables and whole corn, whole corn, and they get all kinds of goodies. We, yeah, quit knocking them around. You really want to give them the pellets though, because that's what gives them yep. the vitamins. Yeah, they need the vitamins in that. The corn helps them wear their teeth down because, like rodents, all rodents, their teeth continue to grow. If you don't, you'll have to take a pair of uh, um, fingernail clippers or toenail clippers and, and cut their teeth off, and they aren't happy when you do that. So you let them wear their teeth down naturally. That's why they, they chew on boards. and You can see they've chewed on the inside of this woodwork here a lot since we put them in here. And we have these little these little um, things up because they like the tunnels through. Oh, they love the, it's just something to play in. They're, yeah, just because they like to play behind old there. Old screen doors and they're chewing the crap out of them. There's not really wood left on them. You have to take them. that out, yeah. But I'd rather have to chew that up than have to chew the inside of my two before for my barn. Um, and get loose. Yeah. Look at them all. They're all pretty. They're all, is that, let's see. 
They're all happy, they're all healthy, and they're all hungry. No, 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 there's like five of them sitting over there just laying Yeah, there. they're not hungry. Well, they eat, they have some food all the time, so. I'm going to go get a couple of scoops of corn. Okay. I'll be right back. So they're having a good time in here eating, and we're going to harvest some of these ASAP. And then we'll probably be down to a few after a while. And no one's having any more babies. We stopped that once the weather got bad. Well, we, we uh, how do I put it? We stopped it actually in the middle of summer because we didn't want to have too many babies for the winter. And we figured we'd let them grow up a little bit in the barn, the ones that were little. Hello, little buddies. Oh, don't get too close and jump on my knee. Oh, they hear the, see the rabbits are a little timid. They hear the, uh, they heard the, um, corn and they, you know, they naturally defend themselves and start to run. That's the California there. That's like our only black bunny. Actually, some of them are dark, but they're not black like him. Come on back, baby. All right, what? Well. A little additive I give them is, is whole corn. Um, this is the same whole corn you'd feed a chicken. There's no additives or anything. It's just pure whole dried corn. And uh, they like that. It's like a nice gives them something extra to gives them something extra to wear their teeth down on. Plus, it saves on the pellets as well as uh, you giving them. I give them two big scoops of pellets a day, plus two good scoops of corn. Gives them all the all the food they need and and want, and nobody goes hungry. Well, variety's good too. That way they well, like, way they we have give a little them, vegetables, we give them garden, garden and, stuff, kale, carrots. Yeah, they they get everything. That way they you know that way they stay healthy. But I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't think of giving them corn. They love it. You can see they're eating it right now. Oh yeah, they like the corn. But you couldn't. They can't live on the corn. No, you have to have they have to have other stuff than corn. Corn's there's not a lot of uh, nutrition in a corn. Yeah, you don't want to, it's like... But they do like the taste of it, so... It's they, a nice it, little treat it's good. Them. It's good to help them wear their teeth down, too. And if you had to give them a separate dish of corn, and a se like I do, I give them pellets and corn. If they want pellets, they'll go eat pellets. If they want corn, they'll eat corn. So, do you want to go over and see the dog? I don't know if they want to see the dog, but... We uh, could go see the dog. Well, not that he's, what we did was he's got a bigger area, so Ruby now. We had the doe rabbit and her babies last summer, or this last spring, well, we put the dog in there for the winter. Because he likes the, the barn, but but we, but we he wasn't out in the front, so I, I wanted to go see him, because he's outside playing right now. So, okay, well, going to go check on my dog. 